your brain! Can I help you? How'd you know I was here? I disabled your alarm. Maybe, but this place has all sorts of eyes and ears. <laughs> so, you want to play with slugs, huh? I want what's mine. Thought a little soap might help clean up this mess. There's nowhere to run, so now might be the time to tell us why Black sent you before my friend gets trigger happy. Black? I don't work with that slug turd. I work alone. You can't hide it forever. Wait! Hide what? Who are you? I want my share of that treasure. Treasure? And I promise you, I'll get it. Does anyone know who that was? I'm still going with one of Black's lackeys. I don't know. No real reason to lie about that. And she wasn't using ghoul slugs. But what treasure could she be talking about? Obviously, she was after the legendary Shane treasure. Well, if it's so legendary, how come I've never heard of it? This wouldn't be the first time your dad kept something secret from you. Just think, you could have a vast fortune hidden somewhere. You could be rich! Rich? Rich? I don't know. My dad talked about caches of stuff hidden around Slugterra, things I'll need someday, but I think it would have said something about a fortune. Some of it could be hidden here, right under our noses. <sighs> hmm. More secrets, huh? Okay, but I'm not sure how or even where. Allow me. Haven't seen one of these in ages. 
The thing's been coated with smolten. Only way we're getting this baby open is with a forge smelter slug. Oh, but we don't have one of those! Well, where can we find one? Oh, we would have to travel to the deepest regions of the magma caverns. It's way too dangerous. It's basically all molten lava. And don't forget the magma monsters. And the ferocious lava bats that will swoop down and gorge themselves on my sweltering brains. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of place. Let's load up, gang. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> So, Eli, you don't find it at all ridiculous that your dad not only expected you to find that chest without instructions, but he didn't even leave you a way to open it if you found it? Uh, my dad always liked me to figure things out for myself. And you're cool with this? It doesn't matter whether or not I'm cool with it. It's just the way it is. Oh, nice one! Um, how are we supposed to cross an ocean of lava? Never fear! Pronto the Magnificent shall drain the sea of fire! Now! <coughs> I, uh, I mean, now! Pronto! How did you. Magnificent? Eh? Uh, also, the lava tide goes in and out every hour on the hour like clockwork. So, if we are to do this ridiculous, crazy thing and get ourselves some sweet, sweet treasure, we must embark immediately. The drowning in fire clock is already ticking. 59 minutes! Oi. Hmm. What is it, Eli? I thought I saw... Nothing. I just can't stop wondering who that thief was and how she could have known about this chest. Whoever she was, she couldn't possibly be dumb enough to come here. We own that level of dumbness. is slow and steady. But didn't you say we had to hurry? Might want to keep it down, too. Don't want to wake any magma monsters. Ah, only a fool would be afraid of a silly little... We'll, uh, <laughs> have to cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> yeah. We must hurry before the lava tide comes back in. Remember, slow and steady. Is 
seriously, it's almost like he expected you to go on this crazy mission. Fire Geyser! You think? Fire Geysers give a warning hiss before the blast, so there shouldn't be a big problem if we go... Slow and steady, yeah, yeah, we got it. Uh oh. Go, go, go! We made it! Behold, the fabled Forge Smelter Chamber! Well, let's find one quick and get out of here. Huh? Or you can just give me that chest. Since I've got the only key. You think that's the only slug in this cavern? The only one you're gonna find. I just unleashed a frost crawler and scared off all the others. Oh, it took me hours before they return! But the lava tide will be back a whole lot sooner. So, you gonna give me my share of that treasure, or are we all gonna boil? She's got nerve. I'll give her that. Look, I don't know who you are or why you think you have dibs on anything in that chest. My name's Dana Poor, and if that doesn't ring a bell, perhaps this will. You recognize that man with your dad? Yeah, that's Tom... Poor. He's your father, isn't he? My dad talked about him all the time. They were like best friends. Until he betrayed my dad. Betrayed Will Shane? Huh. Your dad obviously didn't tell you the whole story. Ooh, there's a shocker. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Ah, my dad's been known to leave out a detail or two. Well, my dad didn't. He was Will Shane's recon man, and he was the best there was at getting information. And all of that valuable info went to Will Shane. This helped him stay one step ahead of the bad guys. They were a great team. But my dad knew something wasn't right about Will Shane. He would disappear for days at a time and never have an explanation for where he went. Will Shane was keeping a lot of secrets. So, my dad decided to start watching your father. He was hiding treasure, treasure he promised to share with my dad. But that wasn't the worst of it. Will Shane was working with the enemy. My dad would never work for Black. Not Black. Even worse, the Shadow Clan. When my father confronted him about this, Will denied everything, except the treasure part. So my father became angry and challenged your dad to a duel. And we all know what happens when you challenge Will Shane to a duel. Which is why you're gonna give me his cut. Huh? Dana, I can't believe my father would do that. But I also can't always explain or understand his actions. Uh, Pluto finds this all very moving, but he would also like to remind you that the lava tide will return soon. <laughs> so, uh... I don't care about gold. If that's all you're after, I'll give you a share. If you give us a slug so we can get out of here. Uh, yes, yes! Uh, get out of here! <laughs> no! We open it here, right now. And there's little time to argue, so let's get to it. Fine. It's just a bunch of junk. What is all this? You trying to scam me? Worthless, trash, junk. Told you there was no fortune. Though I was hoping there would be too. Maybe I can melt this thing down for something. The Shadow Clan. They're coming. Ugh. Shadow Clan, huh? Yeah, they get here so fast. Who cares? Let's make them leave. Oh, the lab 
appetite is coming in! Come on! Get out of here! Come on, Eli! I'm coming! Go big, Burpee! <laughs> Move. Way to level up, little guy. No slow and steady this time. Well, hello. Welcome back. These guys are unstoppable! <laughs> so, uh, remember what I said about crossing that bridge when we come to it? Want me to put this on? Did you see what happened to Dana? <laughs> Please don't fry my brain. It belongs to us. Are you talking to me? Who are you that you can withstand the power of the Shadow Talker? The Shadow Talker? The circlet on your brow. It allows communication between the wearer and the Shadow Clan. But not all can survive its mind-bending force. So again, we inquire. Who are you? you? Uh, I'm Eli Shane. Uh, uh, my father was Will Shane. Uh, Will Shane. Will Shane. Will Shane. Will Shane. Father could not handle the Shadow Talker's full strength, and it appears you 
aren't ready to wear it just yet, but we will allow you to keep it for the day when you are ready. Now, remove it before it takes your mind. Wait! Who are you people? What do you want? The same thing all Shanes want, including your father. And so, we will meet again. Wait! What did my father want? <sighs> Eli! Dude! <sighs> How did you escape the Shadow Clan? I'm still trying to figure out what happened myself. They just... left. You know, it might be a lot easier if we figure it out together. Huh? Well, to start with, this thing allowed me to talk to them. No way! It did what? I put it on just like Dana and... Wait, where is Dana? No clue. I turned back to check on her and she was just... gone. For now, I have a feeling we'll see her again. My dad kept all these things hidden for a reason. That was his treasure. And I don't think Dana Poor is done hunting for what she thinks is hers. The old stories tell of a distant shore, unreachable by normal means. A world of strange magic and secret knowledge, and riches beyond belief. A cavern ablaze with fire, walls stretching into the infinite. The burning world, lit by the lantern at the heart of creation. Despite what you've been told, these tales are not legends. The world above is real. And after years of searching, I, Garivel, have found the way. <laughs> If fame and fortune interest any of you, I shall lead you to it. We will assemble at the Monarch Inn tomorrow, nine sharp. And then we make history. He's talking about the surface, Burpee. This can't be good. Morning, Eli. Tricks. I, I was just, uh, I didn't expect you to be up. Never went to bed. Your reign of terror is almost over, Trixie. And finishing blow. <laughs> oh, I hate this game. Another round. You're on. And where are you headed on this fine morning? Me? Oh, yeah, I just had an, uh, errand run. An errand, huh? Wouldn't have anything to do with this. Uh, come on, Trix, uh, give it back. New World Wow. Garvel promises fame and fortune with Burning World Expedition. Finishing blow. What? Oh, come on! This isn't where you're going, is it? Maybe. Who cares? You should, for one. The Burning World is just a myth, a dumb kid's story. Think about it. If there was really a world above, why haven't we seen any people from there? Uh, I'll admit, it does sound a little fishy. So don't waste your time. Ravel's been roping clueless slingers into these dead-end expeditions for years. <gasps> Car Ravel is launching a new expedition! Has anyone else seen this? <laughs> a whole world above Slug Terra. <gasps> Imagine. No slugs. No mechs! No molinoids! Oh, I'm imagining it. And the gold! Oh, there will be gold, of course! We must go and heal this Ravel out for exploration! 
Uh, I don't know, Pronto. I, I was gonna go alone. If this guy is taking advantage of people, I should uh, probably check him out. You know, for justice. Oh, please, 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 please! Well, if we're going on official Shane Gang business, East Rift does have the best chocolate root beer floats this side of anywhere. Then it is settled! We will all gold! Uh, I, I mean go. Great! Glad to have the help. So much for keeping this on the down low. This is definitely not worth the root beer. Yeah, you see the kind of people God's stories attract, Eli? Charming. <clears throat> uh, four extra large floaters, please. And whatever my friends want. <gasps> Watch yourself, Molenoid. <laughs> Eli, that's Andre Geyser. Who? World-class adventurer. Pretty famous, too. I wonder what a real explorer like that is doing here. Thank you all for coming. As many of you know, the burning world has been my obsession since I was a boy. And I recognize many of my previous expeditions were seen as disappointments to those involved. This, however, will be different. He hasn't taken his hands off that book since he came out. We need to get a look at it. The world above offers more than fame and fortune. Take their moon, for example. A planetary body of vast proportions orbiting literally millions of miles above their heads. <laughs> oh, come on. People can't be taking this seriously. You got a problem, Curly? Nope. Uh, we're fine. Sorry. No problems here. Isn't that right, Trix? My only problem is that you're all buying this. He's taking advantage of you. Easy, guys. There's no need for trouble here. Only an idiot would be part of a bogus expedition. Are you calling me an idiot? No! Sounds like you're calling yourself an idiot. Trex, stop helping. What? what? <laughs> 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 You just had to say something. I thought we were here on official business. I just wanted to help these people. Burpee! To run now, more annoyed. Everybody, stop! Hey! An infernus slug? Only one person has such a specimen. Don't you know who this is? Uh, hi, I'm... Eli Shane! Of course you are, of course you are! <laughs> oh, this is excellent! Just excellent! Oh, with a Shane on board, this expedition cannot fail! Um, newsflash, Eli's not joining your expedition. Uh, listen, guys, uh, about that... Uh... Oh, you can't be serious. These are the guys shooting at us. It's not that simple. Actually, it is. Either you're with reason and common sense, or you're with this guy. Then, I'm with Gar. I'm joining the expedition. I don't think I heard you right, bro. 
I said I'm staying. You guys head back to base. I'll be home soon. Uh, try to get rid of them so you have a larger share of the riches. Well, Pronto won't be falling for that trick. I'm in. Sorry, Pronto. You're leaving too. I have to insist. I know you guys must think I'm crazy, but I have my reasons for this. You just need to trust me. We do trust you, Eli. We just wish you'd trust us. to be done, Burpee. They can't find out about the surface, and we have to find out how Gar knows what he knows. They'll understand. Right? You made the right choice, my boy. The very right choice. The Shane brand is just what this expedition needs to bring it some legitimacy. Huh? Believe it or not, the promise of fame and fortune can sometimes attract a less than savory element. Really? I hadn't noticed. I need to speak to Gar in private. Yeah, excuse me a moment, won't you, Eli? A Shane? I was supposed to be the face of the expedition, remember? Don't worry, you'll still get your payday, Andre. In the meantime, a little class isn't going to kill us. Eli, let's have a chat. I just don't get it. Why would Eli join God's expedition? Obviously, for the vast riches that await him. Nah, Eli's never cared about money. There's something else going on here. I just wish he'd confide in us. Eli's kept secrets before, but he's never let them stop us from being a team. Moss extract. <laughs> my own concoction. From my time among the Knoll tribes of Xanadu Basin. <laughs> I'm no fool, Eli. I know what others think of me. Right now, if my name appeared in the history books, it would be as a failure. This is my last chance. It can't fail. And with you on board, oh, I'm certain it won't. And, uh, what makes you think I can help? I believe it was fate that brought you to me, Eli. The truth is, for all my work, I'm still a piece or two away from knowing how to reach the above world. With a Shane on board, I can secure the funding I need to get that final piece. Easy, Burpee. We just need to keep him talking. Did you say something, Eli? I said, um, how did you learn about the above world? I've been obsessed for years, and I'm not alone. The legend of the burning world is believed by many, and even in those who don't, most of us wonder what else might be out there. Clues are all over if you know where to look. For instance? Stories passed down from one generation to the next. All too many include a mention of the burning world. And then, there is this, my greatest clue. You won't be able to read it, I'm sure. It's written in code. I can read this. It's our cipher. This is the Shane code. Maps, log entries. This tells how to use the drop. Uncle Jimmo. Jimmo? The Shane before your father? Uh, but that means, yes, of course, it's a Shane journal. Oh, that's the missing piece. The word Shane is a cipher, a keystone to the whole book. Eli, this is amazing. It changes everything. I've cracked the code. I can find the way up. Gar, no. What's in that book is secret for a reason. Then, then it's true. What's true is you need to give me that diary. Your coming to me was fate, Eli. I'm sure of that now. I will not be a failure. <laughs> help! I need help in here! The Shane! Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! Car, listen to me! Don't do this! I owe you a debt, Eli. Every instruction, the precise method to reach the above world, is all in this book, along with all the glory I deserve. After 
him! All my research is in that book! Yeah. Tell the men, grab whatever equipment they need. After we get that book back, we leave for the burning world! Finishing blow. Yeah. Eli, what's going on? Nothing. Go back to your game. You're still playing that? I refuse to let it beat me. I gotta win at least one game. Yeah, that's a heck of an arsenal for nothing, bro. I told you I'll handle it. I don't want you involved. It's Shane business. Yeah? And we're the Shane gang. I don't want you guys getting hurt, all right? You just stay here. There's still time for me to ride out and lead them away. Uh, I am not certain what you're talking about exactly, uh, but perhaps it is too late to leave us out of it. Drag us out here to chase a boy! You promised us treasure, Ravel! Fame! I am not a man to be trifled with, Andre! <laughs> not today! Listen to me, all of you! You want fame and fortune? Well, that Shane boy is the key! First man to bring him to me gets a triple share! Yeah! I think there's even more of them than before! Burpee, man the auto blasters! <laughs> We need to get you out of here. Eli! My dad once told me about an escape tunnel into town. If we hurry, we can get through before they reach us. Eli, we're not leaving. But you don't even know what you're fighting for. It doesn't matter. We're a team. We don't need to know. Yeah, you do. Any other ideas? This isn't gonna be easy to hear. All of you are gonna have questions. Unfortunately, now is not the time to answer them, so I'll just be quick. Remember all that stuff Gar was saying about a world above Slug Terra? <laughs> yeah, you mean that made up yarn he was spinning? Yeah, well, it's not made up. The world above is real. And it's my number one job as a Shane to keep it a secret. No way! You joke, God, bro. I know what you're thinking, but it's not a joke. I'm asking you to take a lot on faith here, but you needed to know the truth. I don't buy it. It's a lot, I know. Eli, when I was a little girl, my mom used to tell me about the burning world every night before she tucked me in. You have to grow up. You can't keep believing in fairy tales. In this case, the fairy tale is real. This isn't just about Slug Terra. If Gar reaches the surface, both worlds will pay the price. Say you're right. How does Gar know all this? From this. It's my great uncle's. Based on the tiny look I got, every question I've ever had, every puzzle about my father and what came before me, the answer could be in here, including how to get topside. If Gar got his hands back on it, Eli, we can do this all day. Is this what you want, Gar? No! Cease fire! Cease fire! You might hit the book! Why take the diary when you can have me? Intriguing proposition. I think I'll take both. Fine. I'll come along. One condition. Leave my friends out of this. They aren't involved. There. Now you're being sensible. You don't need friends. At the end of the day, you're all alone. No, I told them I didn't want them involved. Then again... <laughs> they never seem to listen to me. Ah! One in a million dollars! You wanted me, now you got me! It's over, Eli! Get out of here, bro. I can handle myself. With the lava links at point-blank range? I don't think so. 
Let him go, Gar. You can have the book. No! Give it to me! No! Oh! Why? It's not fair! I was so close! Nothing personal, kid. This was strictly business. No, wait, it's not over. This is just a setback. They were right. This was nothing but a sham. It wasn't. I'll find another way. You just Go need... Go away, Gar. It's over. Wait, wait. Where are you going? You just need to give... I have a feeling Ravel won't be a problem anymore. Listen, guys. About what happened. It's cool, Eli. We get it. Shane's secrets, right? I want to show you something. When I first met you, I said I came from a secret cavern, far away from here. Well, that wasn't entirely true. It was far away, but it wasn't a cavern. Then where did you grow up? Up there. In a hole? That hole is called the drop. It's how I got here. It leads to the place Gar wanted to reach. Uh, the burning world? I call it the surface, but yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. It's gonna be hard to wrap your head around this. Your entire universe pretty much just exploded. Yeah, so did my brain. I knew the Shanes kept secrets, but this one? Wow. The magic that exists here, the slugs, they would be lost forever if the surface world ever found out about Slug Terra. And if that happens, all the evil below us would have nothing to stop it. Slug Terra is the first and last line of defense. That's why our two worlds can never mix. You shouldn't have told us this, Eli. It's too big a secret. You should have kept it in the family. You guys are my family. And from now on, no more secrets. I'll tell you everything I know. Though, as far as being a Shane is concerned, that's not a whole lot. And you just torched the book that might have changed all that. There was nothing in that book we can't figure out for ourselves, including how to get back up there. That's the other thing. For now, at least, it was a one-way trip for me. So I guess we're stuck with you then. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I gotta say, you guys are taking this news pretty well. Oh, are you kidding me? I got about a million questions. Now, the sky thing, does it really go on forever? Dad, uh, are there molinoids in this place? And if so, are they respected as superior life forms? Or just slightly superior? And what's up with this moon thing? What keeps it from falling down on top of us? Why don't I start at the beginning? We live on a planet called Earth. Earth? Planet? Equally superior? 